Well, Elia, congratulations. This is an exciting new chapter, and I'm just so proud of you. Uh, man, I just so appreciate your heart. You have got just a softness and, a, and just a kindness about you that, man, I think that if all Christians could could imitate that and how we interact with others, Elia, I just, uh, it would be a different world in, in the ability for God to transform lives. And so um, I appreciate your heart for the Lord. I appreciate your heart for others. And, you know, I think a verse that I'm sure you're familiar with because I just, I know you live this, but I just want to say it. It's uh, Micah 6, 8. He has showed us, O oh man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Man, I see that in your life. And as you start this next chapter of college, um, I know you're going to be passionate about making a change in the world. And never forget that as far as to uh, just staying connected to uh, walk humbly with walk humbly with your God. He wants a relationship with you and to continue to work in your life and through your life. And so I'm just so excited. And remember, student ministries does not end with high school, man. We're college as well. So we're still with you. We still love you. Excited for what God's going to do in this next chapter. So uh, we just look forward to seeing what God's going to do and, and walking alongside with you. And so congratulations. Looking forward to see what God does in this next chapter. Hey, Elia. I just wanted to let you know, it's been my joy to get to know you through hundreds of conversations and activities. And you have a wonderfully artistic and loving personality, which shines bright from any stage you've performed on. And I'm somehow always surprised when you mention yet another organization or cause that you're supporting or learned about and need to share the details of. I hope your passion only grows stronger and brighter in the years to come. Love you, girl. Ode to Elia. Six years ago, this bouncy gal walked right into my life. It seemed at once we had a bond with no questions or strife. Her manner was so forthright and her spirituality keen. She loves us all, as I recall, no difference in between. Her questions always made me think some answers were obscure. But it was clear her heart was true. Her faith was quite mature. To top it off, humility was a trait that I saw clearly. Easy to love this princess girl, and I do so most dearly. To Denison she goes this fall, we hope and pray it's true. So close she'll be, I'm planning we can have a lunch or two. Now there's a special place for you in God's plan for Elia, and lots of spiritual fruit you'll bear, and I don't mean papaya. May God's best blessings both proceed and follow you each day. My prayers will also go with you, your doubts and fears allay. As a scripture, I'd like to share 1 Timothy 4.12. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you teach, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. Elia, ah, okay, you know, I can't do this without reading um, this because I will ramble and cry. So I'm going to read most of this. But I cannot believe how fast these years have flown by. And I'll tell you that our, gr our group got a whole lot sweeter when you joined. And I can't imagine what it would have been like without you in it with us. Your simple presence lights up every room. You're, you have such a positive, optimistic outlook on life, but yet you see the realities that face you head on. I'm continually in awe of your passion, your drive, and your enthusiasm for life in general. But I'm most impressed by your desire to make this world a better place. I love how you dive in 110% when you find something that you are passionate about. You fully immerse yourself into the facts and all the feelings that go along with that. You inspire everyone who has the privilege of knowing you. And next year, when you get to meet a whole new crew of people, each of them will have the blessing of you in their lives as well. I truly cherish the time we had with you in youth. Your biblical knowledge, your desire to dive deeper and learn more, and your inquisitive nature made D-teams such a delight. I have loved all of your tough questions that challenged me and encouraged me to evaluate and to reevaluate areas of my own faith. I sure hope I taught you a thing or two over the years, but I want you to know just how much you've taught me. I have a whole new level of understanding on so many things. You and the other girls have touched my heart and have changed who I am. You've made me want to be a better version of myself, and I think you have that effect on a lot of people. I know I wasn't always the leader that you girls deserved and needed me to be, but even through my toughest times, you loved me just the same. 
your unconditional love and support through probably the hardest season of my adult life was irreplaceable. And even though I doubted my place as your leader for a while, it became so apparently clear that God put us right where he wanted us to be for each other. The way you ladies lifted me up, supported me, loved me unconditionally, challenged me and everything else just makes me even more confident in how you are already equipped to love on others that God places in your path and ultimately to change the world around you. I am so incredibly blessed to know you and have been part of your story and you be a part of mine. And Aliyah, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for trusting me even in my, I'm so sorry, I'm so awkward ways. Thank you for always showing up and being so committed to our group. Your presence was very missed each time you're absent, just a few times really. Thank you for pouring yourself into the rest of us and for sharing your heart, your insight, and your unique perspective on things. And thank you for loving on my family as well. My girls adore you, and I'm so grateful to have such a positive, inspiring role model for them to look up to. I couldn't pick, I couldn't handpick anyone better. I'm reminded of this verse when I think of you. It's from John 16, 33. It says, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Aliyah, I don't give this verse to you because I feel you need it. I'm sharing it because I feel you've already mastered it. I believe you are already confident that no matter what struggles and hard times come your way, you already know where your heart belongs. But I want you to hold this truth close to you as you head into this next chapter. Hard times will come, there's no doubt. Probably harder than you've ever experienced. But if you can remain faithful, pray hard, and trust with your whole heart, you will overcome it just as Jesus has already overcome the world for us. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 9.22, To the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I, have some, I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. That's what I see in you, Aliyah. When you're passionate about something, you fully immerse yourself so much that you're able to relate on that level. I'm confident that you will continue to use this gift from God and be able to share his love and his truths to the people in your life moving forward. My favorite verse, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that is you, Aliyah. You can do all things, and I believe you will do all things. Christ is your strength in your heart, and you will certainly fulfill the great plans he has for your life. And I cannot wait to see how you move those mountains. You are amazing. You are bold. You are beautiful. And I'm blessed to call you my friend. I love you.